a short video to help you revise the Protista Kingdom. There are five kingdoms used in the classification of living things on your course. So what are the features of those organisms that fit into the Protista Kingdom? The first characteristic is that the organism would be eukaryotic. But not a plant, not an animal, nor a fungus. The protist kingdom is absolutely enormous and examples of some protists would be slime molds, algae, protozoans and the amoeba in particular which is on your course. Most protists are unicellular but not all and they can be found in any environment where there's water. One protist that you have to know in great detail is the amoeba. Most amoeba live in freshwater environments however do note that there are certain varieties that do live in salt water. Amoeba are unicellular organisms. They are eukaryotic, so they have a membrane-bound nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. In all diagrams of the amoeba, please make sure you reference the cell membrane, the nucleus, the food vacuoles and that large contractile vacuole. You should also note that the cytoplasm is made up of ectoplasm and endoplasm. The ectoplasm is found just inside the cell membrane and it is a gel-like substance. The bulk of the cytoplasm is made up of the endoplasm. The amoeba moves by forming these projections known as pseudopodia. Pseudopod means one and pseudopodia means many. The formation of pseudopodia is very complex and you don't have to know the detail of it. However, it's just interesting to note that it all involves the ectoplasm and the endoplasm interchanging, so one becoming the other. So this changing of ectoplasm into endoplasm and the movement of cytoplasm causes these pseudopodia to swell and get larger and moves the amoeba along. But none of this could happen without the action of two proteins, myosin and actin, but this is not on your course. Amoeba are heterotrophic, so they cannot make their own food and they would feed off other protists, plants and bacteria, for example. They take in their food by means of phagocytosis. So the pseudopodia surround and engulf the food source and it gets trapped in a bubble of water which is now a food vacuole. Into this food vacuole is secreted acid to kill the prey and then also digestive enzymes to break down the food. Most amoeba live in freshwater environments and you know that the amoeba has a dense grainy cytoplasm so it must contain lots of dissolved solutes. So water will move by osmosis into the amoeba. So there is a serious need for osmoregulation. Without it, the amoeba will burst. The amoeba osmoregulates by using this contractile vacuole. You can imagine it a bit like a bucket. The contractile vacuole fills up with water, fuses with the cell membrane and expels that excess water. I think this is a question you should try and answer. List the key features of the organisms in the following kingdoms, the animal, plant, fungi, protista and monera kingdoms. That question will help you revise the kingdoms. So write down the key points for each of the kingdoms. Are the organisms eukaryotic or prokaryotic? Do they have cell walls? If so, what's the cell wall made of? Do they contain organelles such as chloroplasts? So can they photosynthesize? Then talk about the organism either being autotrophic or heterotrophic and go into the specific details. I just want to introduce you to these organisms known as diatoms. They're part of the protista kingdom and there are thousands of species of diatoms. They're a type of microalgae. They photosynthesize and they are found in all of the oceans. And so because they photosynthesize, they are producers and they form the base of many aquatic food webs. If you're interested in studying marine biology, you will probably end up studying diatoms. Because they photosynthesize, they remove such an amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and in turn release a significant amount of oxygen. But what are the effects of climate change on the diatoms? So that's an interesting project. If you think protista are boring, please watch this TED talk. I hope it changes your mind. The very best of luck with your exams. Make sure that you continue to do past papers. Make sure you're making your own notes reading your textbook and most importantly, listening to your teacher.